There is just one thing clearly in focus for this OU Sooner softball team. What's the goal? Win a national championship. Outcome, obviously, another national championship. But you go to sleep dreaming about winning a national championship. Be the last one standing in June. The Sooners are chasing a championship. Oh, she swung at that! And your all-access pass begins this week right here on News 9. Monday night at 10, head coach Patty Gasso. This is a team we should absolutely, absolutely smother. She's mic'd up, and you'll hear what she's really telling the players. You'll know when I'm doing it. And those umps. Was that, an, what, was that a catch? I've never had control. What? What is going on? <laughs> Plus, Tuesday night. The Sooner Team Dynamics. The home run hitters. <laughs> and the pitching phenom bringing the heat. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it as a freshman. Plus, why coach Patty Gasso told Sooner superstar Jocelyn Allo to take a two-week break early in her career with the team. From that point on, it was like she went off. She went crazy. Thus, she is now the home run hitting queen. Then, Wednesday night at 10. I definitely can remember that day like it was yesterday. But that OU team captain, Lindsay Elam, on suddenly losing her mom during her freshman year at Chickasha High School. And how coach Patty Gasso stepped in when Elam was just 15 years old to help during a difficult time. I ultimately came to find this great relationship with God. And a story of loss and redeeming love that has modeled a champion on the field and beyond. And Thursday night at 10 p.m., our cameras are with the team on game day. We're in the locker room, on the bus, at the batting practice, scouting the competition. We studied them earlier in the week. Today was the review. During the game. And we'll even show you how the players rest between all the action. Don't miss your all access pass. And Friday night. One word or one sentence to describe Coach Gasso. Ooh, boss lady. <laughs> She's an absolute boss lady. Like, she is the boss lady, and we are going on a business trip to take this win, and then we're coming back. Coach Patty Gasso is going strong in her 28th season as head coach. What she loves about these players. They share, and they talk, and they preach to each other. And in a rare and vulnerable moment. We didn't have a lot of money. We didn't have a lot of things. Patty shares the gift of sacrifice her mother gave her. The OU Sooners are chasing a championship, and you'll see a new story every night at 10 p.m. right here on News 9. So many shades of the Sooners, we've almost seen them all. And now, an even closer look. You're late, get out there and get on. And listen to the action down on the field. I mean, nobody fits 5,000 people in their stadiums. So again, you're making a little bit of history. So it's cool, but this is your place. So love it, own it, you've earned it. Everybody wants to see this. So for one game. I have wires have hanging out all over me. On a cold day in March. That's Oklahoma. Coach Patty Gasso. Change that right now. Start the tournament right. Let's go. Mic'd up to let us hear it all. This is a team we should absolutely, absolutely smother, dominate. Defense, offense, all the way around. Right now we own this crowd. You come out and you own the crowd from the start. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Good. Get down. Yes, yes, yes. I'm looking to maybe do some kind of hit and run with you. <laughs> Oh my God, that's a bomb! Woo! What? Woo! That's a bomb! That's an aloe bomb. I know. Holy smokes. Nothing falls, let's go! Good. 
perfect spot for the ball. Good work right there. Why are you gonna send me? I was coming in too. You're not that fast. <laughs> yeah, tag. Let it come down. It's not going. Might go. Come on. Hold, hold, hold. You aren't tagging on that. Why are you tagging on that? Nothing is a sure thing out here. You know what I mean? Nothing is a sure thing with this. Good job. I could have scored you if you aren't tagging. If you take this for granted and you forget what this feels, you're making history. So with that, I'm like, mm, bow up, bow up. I don't care what the score is or who you're playing. Bow up right now. Let's go. You, you got more. I know you have more. Come on. Yeah. Get out. Get out. Yes. Woo yes, yes. Love this pitch now, love the pitch. Back, back! Oh, go, 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 go. Come on, come on. I thought it got caught. Oh. Do your job. They're working for double plays. They're not going to home plate. That will not happen on us. Not happen on us. Oh. We gotta make a change, we gotta get more strikes. Even if they hit them, we got you. We just can't afford walks. Keep working. It's double play action right now, right? So we're going, we're not allowing runs here because we want to get off this field. Good kick! Yeah, baby! Let it work! Knock it down, knock it down! Good kid. Work hard here. Come on. Coach Patty Gasso, loud and clear. Yeah, you go. Leading the way for another team victory as the Sooners continue chasing a championship. Turn this off and get this off. Robin Marsh, News 9. There is just one thing clearly in focus for this OU Sooner softball team. What's the goal? Win a national championship. Outcome, obviously, another national championship. But you go to sleep dreaming about winning a national championship. Be the last one standing in June. These are the faces to help the Sooners achieve the goal of bringing home a back-to-back -back national championship. One thing I love about it is very diverse. I've got a lot of different young ladies from different heritages, from different parts of the country. So I love that they are quite different, but they all get along very well. They are the best offense in the country. Six OU hitters with double-digit home runs. Coleman, Allo, Jennings, Lyons, Elam, and Brito. Good work right there. The Sooners have broken several NCAA records, including best start to a season with 38 consecutive wins. And one of the first names mentioned with this super Sooners team, the home run queen, Jocelyn Allo. Here's the 3 1 pitch. Oh, she swung at that, and she drilled it deep to right center field and goal! She's a National Player of the Year and was just selected number one in the Athletes Unlimited College Draft. But Coach Gasso recalled the time she had to tell a young, struggling sophomore, Jocelyn Allo, that she needed a two week break. Check yourself, check yourself, what you're doing here and why you're doing it. She hated it. She didn't want me to do that. She didn't want to do it. When she came back, she really got the message. And from that point on, it was like, she went off. She went crazy. Thus, she is now the home run hitting queen. There it goes. There it goes. Jocelyn Olo hits number 96 in her home state. Four years old, just hitting balls with my dad on this field and now I get to give back to you guys. And Alo gives so much of the credit for her success to Coach Gasso. She definitely means a lot to me. She's helped me in a lot of tremendous ways and I 
I can't even begin to fathom the things that she's done for me. And it's crazy because it's through softball. <laughs> And the heat from the plate coming from the freshman. 19 year old Jody Ball. I've never seen anything like it as a freshman. Throwing speeds in the upper 60s, even touching the 70s. In seven innings, Jordy could throw over 100 pitches. She relies on that explosive drive from her legs. And when she's pitching, she sees the tattoo that she and her dad both share. I knew that I was already going to be 98 at college and he was number 98 in college, so we both got the tattoo. And um, when I look down, I just think of him and I want to represent him and our family well. Jordy grew up in a competitive sports family in Nebraska, and that's another reminder on her arm. I want to remember where I come from and I love Nebraska and I love home and um, the support that I feel from there is insane. Could we just make that in Oklahoma on that uh, tattoo real quick? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and just days after our interview, some tough news. Jordy injured her pitching forearm and is currently day to day. She fielded a ground ball in our pregame warm up, threw it, and felt something just really attack her forearm. If she is able to pitch, it will just be a bonus. So we're ready one way or the other. Everybody step up, let's do our thing. Stepping up, pitchers Hope Troutwine and Nicole May. There's a motto Coach has ingrained in her players. Coach always likes to say that pressure is a privilege. Coach has said, like, Pressure is a privilege. In anything that you do, if there's pressure involved, it's the thing that you're gonna remember the most. Do you think they go home and remember these run rules? They don't. They remember those games that we came back in the seventh inning to win when we were down three to one. Those are your greatest memories. So when it is pressure packed, just take it in because it is going to last in your memory for a long time. Robin Marsh, News 9. Number 22 is peaking at the perfect time. Super senior Lindsey Ela is the captain of the OU Sooner softball team, and it's a trust she does not take lightly. That just means that my team voted me to be our captain. Um, so I am so honored by that and the fact that they have that much respect for me to um, vote me to wear that. It just means being consistent to me. Definitely doesn't mean I'm the only leader in this team at all. Definitely does not mean that, but I just feel super honored. It's so much bigger than softball, helping people off the field and then teaching them what I've learned um, in my years here and ultimately build relationships that will definitely last a lifetime here. The first baseman, catcher, and slugger at the plate get some high praise from head coach Patty Gasso as well. If you ever wanted your son to marry the perfect woman, it's Lindsay Elam. She's got it all. Wonderful heart, strong faith, hardworking, very responsible. I mean, I could go on and on. I, without question, she is uh, the leader of our team and probably the best, if not one of the best leaders I've had over the 28 years I've been here. An Oklahoma girl from Chickasha, Lindsay Elam was on Patty Gasso's radar while in high school. As a freshman, she committed to Gasso and the Sooners. Elam's future was set, or so she thought. I definitely can remember that day like it was yesterday. But Two months after the OU offer, the unthinkable. In February 6, 2014, um, we were actually out of school because it was snowy and icy that day. My mom had just closed on a house in Chickasha the day before, so we actually were at the new house, me and my brothers. Lindsay's mom never made it home that day from work. Medics believe 43-year-old Carla Elam had some heart issue behind the wheel. She died when her car veered off I-44 on the south side of Oklahoma City. At just 15 years old, Lindsay lost her mom, her best friend, and her softball coach. She ha she's in heaven right now, so the best seed that anybody could have. I know she's with me because I know that God wouldn't have done that just for no reason, you know. Um, there's definitely a reason to 
his plan, um, his will. One of the first people to reach out was Patty Gasso. She gave me a lot of peace during that time. She didn't care how I was doing on the field. You know, I struggled a lot in softball after that, just performing and being worried, thinking I was going to get my scholarship taken and things like that. But um, she kept reassuring me over and over and over. Lindsay had a decision to make about moving forward. I think it definitely would have been easy to have kind of let it just completely take me down, but I also know that she would have been very mad at me if I would have done that. So um, just kind of making the decision to try to figure a way to keep surviving and keep pushing through until I ultimately came to find this great relationship with God and that's what ultimately gave me peace about the whole situation. Lindsay keeps God's word close by her side. My scripture right here, I have it on my wrist. Actually, it's Philippians 4, 6 through 7. So that verse I really just clung to and it just reminded me that in any situation, just to not worry and present those worries to God and just that he will give me peace and he absolutely did giving me peace. Lindsay's father and brothers were by her side for senior day. She just graduated from the University of Oklahoma. Lindsay is loving living in these final moments as a Sooner star. I mean, I just feel very free and I, I definitely give that back to God because that was one thing that I've been praying so much for is just to have no regrets and whether I'm succeeding or failing or whatever is happening, just to feel free. Robin Marsh, News 9. On a quiet morning at Hall of Fame Stadium in Oklahoma City, the sun comes up and there is an anticipation that something special is about to happen. Time we ask you to to get your attention to the picture of the But first, Wing, rolling heavy, oh, you know sorry. that she's fine. Game day starts early in Norman. The players arrive hours before the game ever begins. And for sophomore star Jada Coleman, gotta get the hammies. <laughs> game day means I get a venti ice white chocolate mocha with eight pumps of caramel. Yeah, everyone makes fun of me because of my eight pumps of caramel, but that's the golden game day Starbucks drink. Take the cookies. Inside the Sooners locker room, time to take care of a little business. So you have to clean your own shoes? Oh yeah. I'm gonna be looking fresh. Outside, a little batting practice begins. And a little surprise when Coach Gasso asked me if I want to give it a go. Right, I need a helmet, yeah. But first, I need some good advice from the home run queen. Jesse, got any tips for me? I'm gonna try to hit. Close your eyes and hope for the best. <laughs> I can do that. Yes. Okay. Oh! Oh! Got it! Yeah! 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 Oh my god! All right, back to the real stars. Red cleats and my jersey is in my bag. It's time to load up. Everyone is responsible for their own bags. And the 20 minute bus ride to the Hall of Fame Stadium in Oklahoma City begins. Lots of laughter, singing, and bonding time while on the road. And these players are pumped about playing in front of the home crowd. It's a doubleheader day for the Sooners. And number 22 catcher, Lindsay Elam, is making sure her shoulder will be ready for game time. Just kind of get it loosened up, ready to go. Meanwhile, the coaches are eyeing some last minute game notes. It's hard when you're preparing for five different opponents. We play San, we play San Diego first, right? An intense warm up gets the girls ready to go and it is almost game time. <laughs> From outside, it all looks like a well-oiled machine, but these players say there is a bond that unites them that is greater than the softball wins and losses. We're playing for something much more, and I feel like that's how our passion comes out. It's a lot more than just playing softball. It's playing for Coach Gasso, it's playing for this university, it's playing for 
cries. Watching them go through tough times and how they kind of come out of the fire through it and watching their faith grow has been incredible. And during this game, no problem for the Sooners who get the win. And now the locker room becomes a room of rest for the players. The staff brings in hammocks and makes sure the players can recharge before a second game. But there's no slowing down for head coach Patty Gasso. A break between games means it's a meet and greet with donors and talk of a multi-million dollar new stadium. It's been said that we're going to be playing in it in 2024. So we'll be ready. We'll be ready. But thank you. Thank you so much. Coach then puts back on her game face. Go get your stuff together. And the Sooners are back out for game two. It's an easy win for the number one team in the country. Sooners win on three. One, two, three, Sooners! Woo! I got really excited. Then, what some fans have been waiting for all day long. Who's your favorite player? <laughs> well, all of them. An up close and personal moment with the team. Thank you. So yeah, of course. Nice to see you again. Long lines and not enough time for everyone to make it through. <laughs> oh, oh, they all want hugs. <laughs> hugs for everyone. Get on the bus. And then it's back on the bus with a late dinner for that 20 minute ride back to the OU campus. A rewarding day with two more wins in the books as the Sooners continue chasing a championship. Robin Marsh, News 9. The love of the game for many is birthed here. City ballparks filled with small strength, touting big ambitions from so many young athletes and those little eyes are locked in. Who's your favorite player? Dawson. Uh, and and All of them. And these Sooner Elite actually remember it was not so long ago when they were young with a dream to play ball. Now these players embrace the title of superstars and role models. I am never tired of signing autographs for the little girls. I just want to be the best role model that I can for them and really show them that what they put into it, they can get out of it. Take advantage of every opportunity you can to get better, whether that's hitting by yourself, learning from someone else, watching the game as much as you can. Just remember to have fun. Go daddy, go daddy, go! I just hope they understand that anything is possible. You, you got more, I know you have more, come on. The Sooners are on a championship mission. A record-breaking number of wins comes from hard work, discipline, and the woman leading the way. We own this crowd. You come out and you own the crowd from the start. OU head coach, Patty Gasso. One word or one sentence to describe Coach Gasso. Ooh, boss lady. <laughs> Sweetest boss lady you'll ever meet. She's an absolute boss lady and we all have insane respect for her. Like she is the boss lady and we are going on a business trip to take this win and then we're coming back. I try to get the right players in this program because this program isn't for everyone. Those that are in it, I just try to teach them hard work, blue collar, but really I'm trying to equip them for their future and what life is gonna bring to them. Little did a young Patty realize how the park would have so much influence on her own life. The park was um, our babysitter, so to speak. So we'd get home from school and we would go to the park. We just played and that's how I grew up. It was kind of like the movie Sandlot. Patty's single mother doing the best she could to put three children through Catholic school. We didn't have a lot of money. We didn't have a lot of things. Tell me about your mom. What, what did she, what did she instill in? What has she given you? It is emotional though when you talk about that deep love. She gave me, um, work ethic. Um, I watched her raise three kids by herself. 
Patty says while her mom didn't see many of her ball games growing up, sports was a big bond between the two of them. We would listen on the radio to the Dodgers, to the Lakers, to the Rams. We were female sports fiends. As Patty got older, her mom was able to become her coach and teach her the game of softball. If women could coach in high school and coach in college, I would love to do that. And I'm 10 years old when I, I feel that, but I didn't even know that that was something you could do. And softball continues to be a family affair for the Gassos. Patty's son, JT, is by her side as a Sooners coach for the team. Oh, low 60s like this, change up. Yep. And her other son, DJ, is a softball coach for Utah. The Gassos have two grandchildren and two more on the way. But head coach Patty Gasso says she owes so much to the man she married 35 years ago, Jim Gasso. Jim Gasso is a coach of many things and very, very passionate and very good at it. So he has been allowing me to live my dream. Go. Completed, completed, and we beat him. For that, I owe him the world. Robin Marsh, News 9.